The demand for lithium has steadily increased over the past decade, mainly due to the increase in demand for lithium-ion batteries. However, it appears this is only the beginning for lithium, as the evolution of the electric car battery, and more recently the potential of the power storage battery, appears set to exponentially increase the long-term demand for lithium over the next decade. One of the major reasons for the increase in demand is because cars and power storage batteries require significantly more lithium than other devices. For example, a mobile phone uses around 6 grams of lithium carbonate equivalent in its battery, whilst Tesla's Model S will consume around 63 kilograms of lithium carbonate equivalent in its battery. This means that for every one electric car battery, more than 10,000 mobile phones will need to be produced to consume the same amount of lithium. Tesla is leading this future demand for lithium as they near completion of their Gigafactory in the United States. Tesla has forecasted production of 500,000 electric cars per year by the year 2020. This will double the world's current lithium-ion battery supply and consume around 20% of current lithium carbonate equivalent production. And with additional gigafactories in the future of possibility, other major car manufacturers increasing their electric car production, as well as the limitless potential of the power storage battery, the gap between future supply and demand for lithium looks set to increase further. Lithium Australia is leveraged for this rapid growth in demand through their silage hydrometallurgical process, which is aimed at becoming a significantly cheaper alternative for the recovery of lithium from hard rock sources, as it eliminates the requirement for roasting, as well as increases revenue through additional byproduct credit production. To ensure the company has long-term feedstock for their silage technology, Lithium Australia has acquired numerous prospective lithium tenements around the world, both in their own right, as well as through the development of numerous strategic alliances. Well, to a large extent, we're technology focused and we're matching technology with the resource base. So not only do we have the key to extracting lithium from silicates at a very low cost, but we've also got a substantial asset base in the form of mineral exploration properties or corporate alliances that give us access to other resources.